morning guys so you guys will be surprised that it is 3 12 right now and i've already edited and uploaded two videos on youtube so at five o'clock i'm going to post up a hair video and then 8 30 would be the weekend vlog so your girl was on time today i'm um, so i'm wearing those new bras that i showed you guys last time on my vlog from primark look at how nice and supportive these bras are and i also have this uh, little robe from primark as well that you guys see i go there for their loungewear and their stuff like that because their th their items are are really really good so this is my face guys you guys can see it's starting to get a little bit lighter um like i said i do have to go see someone about the acne the cystic acne the dermatologist um it is peeling but i just like wash my face and everything like that so um i don't want to even play with my face too much but yeah right, so, so you guys know that i'm working on this lock wig or whatever so i decided that i would do it with you guys on the vlog just because it's not a sponsored video and i'm just trying to take my time trying to master making my own lock wigs because lock wigs be expensive so I did show you guys the locks that I'm using so right now I'm trying to figure out um, what to do with the front the closure it is pretty thick and I got to do like the little rubber band method with it so uh, so far let me show you guys the back of the way so far um, I've added four packs of the curl why is the head not tilted Ooh, sorry guys so so far and yes my glasses be piled up in that basket so so far I added four packs of the crochet now I actually didn't crochet with the stick I actually just sewed it down with a needle and thread just to kind of make them flat um, instead of it having a bulky so I just used needle and thread and I just sewed them along the line um, but obviously I have I have bought three more packs so I'm gonna have to fill the top in and just make sure I fill this part in I'm probably gonna have to wear a black stocking cap with this one just because you'll be able to see some of the back excuse the mess on the floor ha <laughs> Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and work on this and we're going to do it together because this is just a project I'm working on for myself. I want to see if I could do it. So if you're watching the vlogs, then you can learn how to do it with me together and kind of see how it turns out. But I wanted to show right, you guys. guys. So we got two videos going today. We got the vlog going up in three hours and then we have this hair review going up in 24 minutes. So I was I was working today. OK, so it's 506 right now. I still have to go to the grocery store, but. Show some love, show some love, and two videos today. And look at my skin. So I'm back in the house. I'm going to quickly show you guys the things I got. I got a blueberry and strawberry mix because I haven't really been eating fruit. So I want to try to add some fruits in. I also got some fresh raw shrimp. And I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to try to do with the shrimp this time. I did get the wraps. Oh my God, I just popped the top of the seal of the wrap. So I did get um, the Five Net Carb uh, Mission Carb Balance Wraps. And I get these this size because it's the biggest size they have. And if you want to do wraps, it's better to use that. I also got some string beans. I got a green pepper. I got an onion. I also got two avocados, guys. They're not ready yet, but they'll be ready in a few days. I've been obsessed with avocados lately. The ones I've been getting have been really good. I did get asparagus because we're going to have asparagus this week. I also got broccoli. And I also got some bean sprouts because I like my little Asian dishes sometimes. So bean sprouts definitely sets it off. So I got the bean sprouts to kind of do like a little stir fry uh, this week. I also got um, the almond flour, which I did show you guys. Now the almond flour on this one, 
uh, for a serving of an eighth of a cup, it is two net carbs. Now this one is blanched and is super fine uh, ground almond flour grain free. So this one is the only one I've seen with the least amount of net carbs. Now this one did cost $15. I when mean, you guys know I am frugal AF, so $15 is a stretch for me. But because it's super fun and it's blanched, I was like, wow. And you can actually see it on the bottom of the bag how nice and kind of fine this is. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I have to get this one because I know it's going to probably good, do good frying up. So this is what it looks like. And I also showed you guys in the vlog, um, the grocery store I go to is more, you know, it's gentrified out here. So it's more of like the healthy food lifestyle type of things. And the price point is high. So they did have the keto um, granola there and they had all four bags, which I've never seen in store. So that was shocking. But the bag was $10. I believe it's a little bit more expensive on Amazon. So if you can get it at a store for $10, that's great. But I still feel like $10 for a keto granola is just a little bit on the pricey side. But my grocery store has just about everything keto. You guys saw the brownie mix. I didn't get the brownie mix because I have my favorite from Amazon. But if I'm feeling like spending $11.99 on it, maybe I'll get it. But like I said, the price point is high because the neighborhood is gentrified. You guys know what I mean. So I picked this up $15. Not my normal thing. Y'all know I'm cheap, but I picked it out anyways. I also got um, some coconut flakes. They're unsweetened unsulfured whatever I don't even know what that means but yeah so I'm gonna use these to make coconut shrimp uh, this one is keto friendly as well too it's only one net carb for a quarter of a cup which is excellent so I'm gonna use this with uh, the almond flour and I'm gonna try to make like a nice batter so I can make some uh, coconut shrimp so like I said this is a great keto find guys I'm not sure if anyone has tried this product out but if you've tried this almond flour out let me know down below but for the net garbage on this one is excellent and this one as well too so if you want to go ahead and make yourself like some like I said some coconut shrimp or something like that I think this is a great deal so that's about it guys and honestly I spent $66 like I said it's the neighborhood you guys know people moving in people moving out people moving out and people moving in and this, the neighborhood is different so the prices go up so that was it guys um, this should last me for the whole entire week I do have my own my meats my meats my uh <laughs> my yeah my protein in the fridge and yeah so this should hold me off for the week it is snowing tomorrow so you guys will see a little bit of a snowflake my premiere is starting in 37 minutes I have seven minutes full seven minutes before um, the chat room opens for premiere so I'm going to get out of these clothes um, I do have, still have like I just quickly put these on my boyfriend like was going to go get something so he dropped me off at the grocery store I wasn't gonna walk because it was cold outside it's not even that far of a walk but um, I'm about to get out these clothes just relax a little bit have some tea my allergies are really just like effing me up right now like I'm just like really stuffy for no reason literally when I went outside for the fresh air I felt really really good so either I have to go sit on the patio one day it's, even though it's really cold to like the allergies being in the house I don't know if anyone experiences during COVID-19 just being in the house or allergies all day long especially if you have indoor allergies like dust mites I'm allergic to like everything well I'm a seasonal indoor and outdoor allergy person pets dogs cats Dan or everything so dust mites so for me being in the house 24 7 is a nightmare I'm used to going outside where I get some fresh air and so <clears throat> definitely had to pump my flow nays up today because you guys can hear me I sound like really nasally and I'm not sick so that sucks but whatever um got what I needed and like I said about to the premiere is about to start soon so I'm about to hang out for a few minutes make myself maybe like a nice cup of tea and premiere and then come back and talk to you guys a little bit I think I'm gonna cook but to be honest we had the seafood so late like that was I had yogurt today I had a yogurt with granola and then I had the seafood for around like afternoon you guys know I fast and I don't eat till like 3 o'clock anyways I do 3 to 11 today so um, I had the yogurt earlier then I had the seafood around like 5 guys like 4.35 o'clock so very very late so now it's like almost 7 it's like I need to eat something else but I don't think I'm gonna I had a plan to make bacalao tonight but I don't know about all that um, I might save it for tomorrow or I might make it so we gotta see how that's gonna go but yeah, gotta go. Six minutes. All right, guys. So I got a little bit of some BW bleaching powder, and I used some 40 ball developer. So this is the back of the closure. You can see that I did go ahead. Let me close my hands out. Anyways, but you can see that I did go ahead and tweeze it up right here. But I'm gonna have to go back and do it again. So I'm just—it's not as chunky as I would like, but it'll be good enough. 
I'm gonna make sure I really get the front area so that it's bleached nicely. And like I said, this is not a sponsored video, so I figured why not do it with you guys in the vlog? Um, just because I could, you know, do we could mess it up together instead of doing like a content video that gotta be like precise, just in case I mess this up. I want to do more like you know crochet wigs, so I'm trying to practice. Um, yeah, so this is not as I put way too much developer in, but because it is 40 volume developer, this will probably um, bleach really quickly, so I gotta be careful with that. But you just wanna kinda load it up so that when I do the parting space, that everything is bleached. You know what I mean? Everything is on point. So we're just gonna go ahead and just brush that into the lace, make sure that the lace is getting in. And even if it sleeps in a little bit, it's fine. We'll just cover it up with a little bit of black hair dye if that's the case. But if not, we are good to go. So, um, yeah, so this is what I want to show you guys real quick. I'm gonna let it set for maybe like 20 minutes. I'm gonna lift it to see what it's doing. And then once that's done, I'm gonna comb the closure out and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow dry it, make my sections, blow dry it, add the rubber bands and then braid it and then finish the crochet and then start the closure. Shouldn't I feel like I got enough time tonight to do that. What y'all thinking? All right guys, so this is a closure. I did bleach it a little bit too much, but it's gonna be fine, don't worry. Um, I'm gonna do four on each side, four here and four here, just because I feel like I want it to be not so small. Maybe I can do three, 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 and three. But this is all the hair that came out of that little bitty closure, guys. Um, it was not a sponsored closure. A subscriber actually sent this to me in my P.O. box. Just an FYI, guys, do not send people stuff like that. Like, the closure is, is like nothing now. Um, that was actually really shocking, but at least I can actually make this a little bit thinner since it kind of thinned out from just washing it. So I'm going to go in with the tweezer and just try to make the sections like a little bit thinner by tweezing it. And then leaving some baby hair out here. And then I'm going to start using, uh, I'm going to use a little bit of mousse. Let me see what mousse I got. I'm going to use a little bit of the argan oil mousse and I'm going to start doing the rubber band method on the sections once I get it nice and thinned out. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is what I've done. So I've done 12 pieces all together on the closure. I did use, let me show you guys what I use. I used some of the Bold Hold je Lace Jelly and I only used that uh, just to kind of get this to be kind of slick so i'm going to go with my hot comb now and i'm going to spray with the got to be glue in each section and kind of freeze it up and make it nice and clean and then i'm going to do the braids and then crochet the hair through but this is what it'll look like uh, i usually do a right side so right side will go that way and then you'll still get like some lace part there or you could do a middle part or whatever you want so there goes your options Happy Tuesday guys. So I actually woke up around like 10 o'clock today. I woke up a little bit late. So I'm at the gym now. It's around 12. So this is the new gym set that I got from Primark that I showed you guys last week. Why are my nipples like two different ways? So um, obviously you can see my panties right here. I don't know why I wore those panties, but these are the gym pants. They fit very, very nice guys. I'm looking hella thick today. Um, and I told you guys, the pants I got them in a size small, and the top I got in a medium, and I told you guys, you guys can size down in the top to size small, because look at all this extra room that I have on the bottom of the top. So I could have definitely gotten the top in a size small, but the top is full coverage, guys. And even in the back, you guys will see that the back has some good coverage as well, too. So, this is a nice a little uh, two-piece set, guys. Goes all the way down to the ankles. I got the bottoms in a size small and the top in a medium. But like I said, um, you can go ahead and size the top into a size small because there's a lot of room right here. So, happy Tuesday. Back in the gym. Gonna get this workout in. Um, I am probably going to finish the lock wig that I was showing you guys already. And um, then try to install it because... I gotta do some type of, I have a try and haul that's due, so I need to at least get that done by Thursday, so I'm gonna have to do a quick makeup on my face and just do a quick try and haul, so yeah. So this is the first look of the outfit. Hopefully you guys like this from Primark. The bottoms were 10 bucks and the top was eight bucks, but like I said, look at the cut on the bottom. The band is super thick, which you guys will appreciate and like I said size down on the top and like I said if you're plus size you can fit the clothes here because the clothes is very very stretchy so here we go
题。砰砰砰砰，我主动传达一句话，想起爱送你，送上你，无法再让我们沉。This is, I have to take my nails off to do some of the crochet. I do have to go ahead and cut some of this off, especially the thread right here, but so far, everything looks pretty good. Uh, the lace looks pretty good. I did over bleach it a little bit, but don't worry about that. I'm gonna add like a little bit of black mascara to it. Um, the back, I do have one more pack that I need to fill in the back spots. But all in all, I think I did a really, really good job on the front of this wig. Like I did such a good job on these locks. Um, okay, so I finally finished the lock wig. Took me a little bit of time, but I mean, it's still early. It's like early six o'clock. Uh, there is still some crochet parts open, but um, honestly, when I put it on, you can't see it. And plus, I don't want to overstuff this unit, so I'm like, if it's straight up and stuff, I even sewed down some parts to make sure everything was. Oh, I'm having such a hard time doing this. The head is just not working, girl. Stop embarrassing me. So even from the back, you'll see like a little bit of space, but what I did was I took the needle and thread and I sewed some of the crochet together. But for the most part, it's pretty full. Um, and you can also take the locks and kind of like scrunch them upwards, but um, I think I did a pretty good job. Like I said, there's still some spacing in there, but for the most part, it looks pretty damn real, pretty nice. And I think I did a really really good job with the front the closure like that came out really really good I even sewed it really close up here so you can't see any of the crochets come through so I'm gonna go, ahead and, go ahead and spray her up real quick just so I can get her really nice I didn't even leave that much baby hairs out just because um, sometimes the baby hairs be too much so I just left like a little bit of hair out um, I did use a bolt hole to put her down why are you not even this thing never focuses it's too bright in here that's why the bolt holes and two of my nails came off but I had to take this one off just so I can get the um, crochet when I was twisting it right so I'm gonna just spray the front like this guys Look that little nail I'm gonna put my nail back on I got the both nails I'm just gonna glue them back down um, well you just gonna spray it and then what I'm gonna do is put a headscarf down and then I'll be all right guys I'm looking real crazy right now but I did go ahead and just add baby hairs on so it's like popped hair off of a wig that i already had and i just used some glue some like nail glue and i froze it on top of the hair kind of going into it um i should have filmed that part but i did it i'm sorry guys but um obviously you can still see like a little line of demarcation i'm gonna use some alcohol to get that off but once i put my makeup on you guys will see how nice but it looks fucking good it's period i killed this like bro so, if any company wants to sponsor a lock wig review, hit me up. Okay. The wig 
come on guys i know there's like a little bit of line right here but that's a little bit of the guy uh the bolt hole that kind of really got stuck right here so i'm gonna use a little bit of alcohol and get that part off but y'all can't tell me i didn't fuck this up a pretty late start today i'm actually in connecticut right now because today is my mother's 66th birthday so i'm actually picking up a few things for her just me and my sister gonna do like a little cake and some balloons and fun um nothing crazy because on saturday she's supposed to be having a little soiree her friends are throwing her like a little party so i'm definitely gonna have to come back with the haitian pate so for now i am just uh here i'm at the dollar tree right now because my father's birthday was actually january 20th and um i wanted to go to his beer site which is not too far from here and kind of decorate it up and make it look really cute for him for his birthday um if you guys didn't know my birth my dad um is a capricorn and a fun fact about me guys i'm actually named after my father so we have the exact same entire first and last name and he's a capricorn and i am as well too so i'm gonna go ahead and decorate um his burial site right now i'm at dollar tree they have like really nice like rosary style things that are affordable af and you can really find nice things to kind of make the burial site look really nice so i'm gonna do that bring some flowers as well and then i'm gonna head to my mom and see her see my sisters and then head back home i'll be back saturday because like i said they're throwing her like a little party or whatever so that's where the turn up is gonna be at so i'm just coming to see her and say happy birthday because you know even though I called her and I text her and I live in New York and she lives in Connecticut I still need to see her like I gotta physically see my mom so I decided even though COVID COVID really brought like my entire family like really really close like we lost people so we really kind of tightened up so that's another thing that COVID really taught me this year or oh, one thing that COVID really taught me this year well last year so I gotta see my mom on her birthday period so um yeah so i'm gonna go do that and i haven't eaten my stomach is growling bro like like all crazy so i gotta get something to eat. i think i'm gonna go to chick-fil-a and get their uh salad with the grilled bites i think that's keto friendly so i'm gonna grab that hopefully that, that line be long so hopefully the line ain't too long so i'm gonna head in here right now the beauty supply store is here i don't think i need any more locks in my wig i think it's fine i think i do need some black a black stocking cap because i have it to the light cap on and i feel like you can kind of see it like in some of the spot not really you can't my boyfriend said you can't see anything so maybe i'm just bugging but um i don't think i'm gonna go in there because i'd be spending way too much money in there i need just i need to chill so i think i'm all set for this i'm going to do the try and haul with the locks i can i ended up thinking like maybe i'll do the try and haul with the locks i am trying to keep the locks off of my face so it doesn't mess up my face but yeah so i'm gonna do the try and haul tomorrow with the locks and take a few pictures with the locks i personally feel like the way it came out good for me trying like bitch you know, it's a little, you know, I gotta fix that here, but you don't know what it is. But, like, that ass, like, bitch. I did this. Period. We got some really nice cards here. It says it's Express from Hallmark. Should I believe it? That's an expre expression from Walmart. All cow things. What am I? I'm talking on my camera, Dan. Oh, you don't have your AirPods, right? No. These are really cute to put like in front of his thing. I just put those purple things in. This is cute. Look for angels in your life, they are everywhere. I think I like this. Let me get this. This is perfect. I don't need to, but why not? Oh, these look cute. Are those a highlighter? Oh, jelly. Mm 
Oh, these are so cute. Oh, I'm about to get these. Oh my god, these are so fire. Bro. Is this a joke? This is like the best fucking deal ever. Is this a joke? Oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot of people here today. Somebody walking that path. I feel like a lot of other family members got buried in the same area as well too. It's like my dad's was first and then there's like a whole bunch of other people that relatives that we know that are on the other side. So my pops is over here. Y'all don't need to see my government, but I'm gonna hook it up, all right? But my dad's here. Can't wait to decorate it. All right, this is what Dan gave me. She got me the what same nails from Primark. She got two packs. They only had two there? No, they had a whole bunch. They had a whole bunch. Go to Danbury, Connecticut. They got these nails there, a whole bunch. Focus! So and sick. then Dan also got me, Dan and Dar also got me the Murad kit. I got this one, the this is the clarifying cleanser, which I use oh, every day. I also got the 30-day trial because I wanted to try it first. I'm going to do the 30-day trial starting tonight. And then I also have the spot treatment as well for the dark spots. So I can, my um, my skin lady said I can use this. She, per, she recommends me using this uh, to continue using this. So it worked out. All right, so we just finished hanging out with my mom, and I decided to stop and go to Trader Joe's out here because Trader Joe's has the new cauliflower Mexican fried rice. It's like supposed to be spicy, and I also wanted to use some of the cauliflower uh, fried, uh, like the fried rice. So I'm coming to Trader Joe's, and I also want to get some salmon too. So if when I get home tonight, I'm thinking about making like tacos with chicken and some of that Mexican fried cauliflower fried rice. So that would be really good. So I'm just waiting for Dan to come. I think that's Dan right. Yeah, that is her looking speed day. Dar and Dan today they've been driving really aggressive. Like we've been like, <laughs> so um, I'm about to go in right now. Here she goes. Look how she look at guys. Maniac. Look at this maniac. <laughs> so um, yeah, look at him. <laughs> so we. <laughs> she's so. <laughs> So we want to go to Trader Joe's right now and then I'm heading home, okay? Cause I am tired and tomorrow I gotta wake up and get to work, but I am gonna do the standing abs workout tonight, which if I don't go to the gym, I'll just do one of those workouts, which really helps my core. Like I get the whole thing. What about this one, the wasabi one? Oh, spicy. Spicy. <laughs> oh, sea salt, like I would get this. They don't let a single pound? Yeah, they have Oh, this is sea salt. Oh, this is sea salt. Roasted. Mm -hmm. What's the carbs on the veg general? Five, four. Four for one cup. That's good. Let's try it. Look, I go get, get that in, in my favorite. This one is seven carbs. So five net carbs. Mm -hmm. And look at this one. She's starting the day off really late. I felt like most of my day was preoccupied with the stocks today because there's a lot of mess going on. Um, I did just run out really quickly. I was supposed to get my eyebrows done at this place I usually go to, but um, she was playing around. So I went somewhere else and I got my eyebrows threaded for the first time. So I think um, they pretty much did a really good job. I've never got them done. It was a little bit on the painful side. So I was like, duh. But um, I like how they look. They're chunky, like that chunky look um, with a little bit of an arch and, you know, cleaned up. So right now I'm about to start rec um, doing my makeup for um, pictures to go with my try and haul, which I'll record the try and haul portion in the evening because uh, the sun is distracting during the daytime. So I'm going to get my face beat. I'm going to fix my hair up and you guys will see a few pics I inserted in the video, obviously, and on IG. So... I will be right back. And I'm going to do a few TikToks as well. So Alright guys, so my lashes are super, super long. I feel like I can't even see you guys. But 
let me just quickly show you this is the finished look guys i did go ahead and post a picture on instagram and a few other pics so i wasn't able to get all the pictures that i wanted today but i am going to do the rest of the pictures tomorrow but i am going to fill the chan haul part of the video now because it's just easy to get it done so um i do like the way my makeup came out the lashes are very very long um they're mink uh 25 millimeter lashes i'll link them down below but the lock with guys is the last i think tomorrow will be the last day you guys see i'm gonna take it off after i film the take a few pictures but this will be the last time you guys see her bye bye but we're just hanging out it's been a real stock crazy day guys like i am up 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 so uh, it's been a really excited day i've been really looking at the stocks all day so that's kind of why i haven't really been on but y'all 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 know i'm gonna leave the links down below for acorn and robin hood if you haven't signed up go ahead and sign up today i have referral codes down below so make sure you sign up for robin hood and all right guys so i hope it's not too allowed in here but i want to kind of give you guys an overall review of the lock unit that i created so obviously i'm about to take this off because i'm going to add actually put a new unit on tonight i've already washed it tweezed it and bleached and stuff like that the unit is actually from Eunice hair company so I'm going to just uh, part her and then you know blow dry her out straight because she's a straight unit and then put her on tonight for the week that'll be the unit that I wear for the channel just because this unit just did not work with all the outfits so I decided to just scratch this and take it off because you guys know I made this purposely for vacation like I'm gonna bring this with me on my trip so I wanted to just create her have her solid um, and take care of her with this type of unit I, I slept with it for three days guys i don't really recommend it just because it does kind of get stuck together which is one thing when it comes to crochet that's like a go like it's gonna get stuck together like this but i do think it's such a nice style guys like how can you not like this i love how long it is number one you can actually get these locks i think in 18 inches and also comes in a three pack with like different lengths next time i do this here so i'm gonna do it with a shorter length because i think that'll be really cute so instead of probably instead of bringing this on the trip i'm gonna go ahead and make another unit with the shorter locks because that would be like a better style for vacation so that'll be my next try and i'm probably gonna do that in a few weeks so i'm gonna try the shorter uh goddess lock uh unit or is this a butterfly i keep saying goddess locks yo butterfly lock so i'm gonna do a butterfly lock unit in the shorter length but so far guys i think that this one actually came out really really pretty i think i did a good job on the closure um I mean, like, I feel like the closure when you guys watch, a lot of the hair shut off. The closure is not as high quality as I would like. So I'm going to try to order a high quality closure and do it on a high quality closure. That would just be better. Um, but obviously, you guys know it was sent to me from, a comp from someone on IG. I'm not even sure if I know or remember the girl's company because it, it did not have a tag on it but it wasn't that great quality of a closure but I made it work so this is it guys very very pretty um, even side view wise as you guys can see how super long it is and remember I told you guys in the back to save time and save room I sewed the crochet on the cap like on the back part so it could stay flat so that I didn't have to add too many crochets here so it's bulky so you can just sew it downwards like cornrows going down like sew it down like that and then add on top so they can kind of hide some of the cap being a crochet cap that's what i did i felt like that worked out better and you cannot see uh, not even a lick of lace of that crochet cap in the back so let me know what you guys think i think i did a pretty good job guys you can't see any of that crochet cap in the back it looks like i got crochet i just got my hair locked up and that's it um so it's 24 inches long right to the booty top a little bit on the booty but really really nice guys um this actually came this hair came in this here came in a few other colors. It came in like ombre color and stuff like that, ombre blondes and stuff like that. So if it even came in a, like a nice 613 blonde, you did a 613 blonde with a closure, that would be really nice. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and try some more styles with this one, but it's time to take this off, take this makeup off and just put my base wig on or my unit, not my base wig, my unit uh, wig unit on now. But overall guys, I love the locks. The locks aren't too heavy. They're actually very lightweight and soft. Um, the wig itself is definitely heavy. Seven packs of hair is gonna kinda hold you down. I slept with it with three days and I don't recommend doing that. So, um, but other than that guys, I think that this came out nice. I'm sitting here talking about doing a whole freaking review and this was just something for a vlog. But I gotta give you guys a review anyways. I slept with it, don't do that. Um, but other than that, I think it's slamming. Even if it gets like a little fuzzy, I just kind of trim it up up here and stuff like that. Just to kind of maintain like a sleek style. But it's supposed to be rugged. It's supposed to be like that. So, the butterfly locks from Janet Collection. Alright, so you guys love this 
curly wig from her giving here. So I'm putting the video up right now. Hey everyone! Hey! So um, yeah, so I'm premiering this one. It was it only took me about with these with hair videos. They don't take me that long to edit vlogs, trying hauls, and all those other types of videos. Take me an extremely long time to edit. This was very very simple, guys. So I got this one up today. So um, yeah, so tomorrow will be the the weekly vlog, and hopefully a trying haul as well. So let's see how that works out. <laughs> 